What's going on guys, today we're going to learn about how we can add the northern lights into any of our images using Photoshop. So let's get started. What's happening guys, my name is Brennan from BeWillCreative.com and you can find me on Instagram at Burnwells. So of course we're going to be learning about how to add in the northern lights into our images. I know there's already a bunch of tutorials out there on YouTube right now with different ways of how you can draw them in or maybe do an entire sky replacement for the northern lights, but I'm going to show you how you can take a night photo like this one and just add in the northern lights with no fancy tricks or things like that. All we have to deal with is a layer mask. So before I get started, just a friendly reminder to hit that like button if you enjoy this video as it really does make a difference and consider hitting that subscribe button to stay up to date with my weekly photo and editing tutorials. So first things first, you're going to need a photo taken at night. So you can either go out and you can shoot a photo yourself or you can just go online and find a nighttime photo somewhere on a stock photo site like I did with this one. Now, if you're wondering where to get stock photos from, I actually recently wrote a blog post about my top five favorite free stock photo sites where you can get all of your stock photos completely for free. I'll link that down in the description below if you want to check that out. Anyways, once you find those images, of course, you're going to want to open them in Photoshop. So in this case, I have my night image and then my Aurora image in another tab here. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to bring this image back into my night sky here. So I'm just going to grab my move tool and click and drag it over into the other tab like this. So before I do anything to my Aurora photo, I just like to figure out where I want to put it within my image. So in this case, since my person is looking out this direction, I want my Aurora to sort of flow up through here somewhere. Um, sprouting out from behind the camper. So then it makes it look as if he is sort of looking up at the northern lights above him. So with that rough idea in my head, I'm now going to just move this over. I'm going to press Command T, right click, flip horizontal just so it better suits my composition. And right around here is going to do for now. Now a lot of you guys might be assuming that I'm just going to create a layer mask, grab my brush tool, and just mask out all of the night sky like this. But there is an easier way than going about this because as you see, if I, as I start to go around the edges, it creates this sort of uniform line around the edge of my Aurora. It makes it look very photoshopped in my opinion. So instead, I'm going to be showing you an alternative to make it blend a little bit better into your sky. I'm going to quickly just rename this to Aurora just so we're all on the same page. And so with my Aurora layer selected, I'm just going to go to my layer blending mode and I'm going to change it from normal down here to screen. Screen essentially makes the blacks in your image transparent. So in this case, since our Aurora is sort of this bright against a night sky, it's gonna get rid of the night sky for us. So as you see, there is still a bunch of the sky left over because it wasn't completely black. So we have to make it a little bit darker. If we go and grab our levels adjustment layer here, we can just create a clipping mask by clicking this little box right here. So it's now clipped to our Aurora layer. So I'm just gonna drag up my blacks here. And as you see, it starts to slow slowly get rid of this outside box. So I don't want to go too far with it as it starts to get rid of our Aurora a little bit, but somewhere in this range right around here will work for me. And now what I'm going to do just to get rid of this extra little bit around here, just to get rid of those harsh lines and whatnot, is I'm going to go to my Aurora layer, create a layer mask, grab my brush tool by pressing B. I'm going to make sure that my brush hardness is set to 0% and I'm going to bring down my flow to about 65. So now with a relatively large brush, I'm just going to go through and just take out those harsh edges around my Aurora. Now, once you've got rid of those harsh edges, just bring down your brush opacity by pressing one of the numbers on your keyboard. So I'm just going to press two to bring my opacity down to 20%. And now I'm just going to go around the outside of my Aurora one more time and make the transition between the two photos a little bit smoother. So now we have successfully cut out our Aurora from its original image. Now I'm going to really fine tune where I want it to come out. So somewhere right in here is going to be perfect for me. So if I zoom in here, you can see that our Aurora layer is covering just a little bit of a person. So we'll just want to mask that out. I'm going to bring my brush flow back to 100%. Make sure my brush opacity is set back to 100% by pressing zero on the keyboard. And I'm just going to bring down my brush size just to be a little more exact. And I'm just going to mask out all of this little bit of Aurora that's left on him just with my brush tool on our Aurora layer layer mask. Now I'm just going to turn this on and off just to double check that there isn't anything that I'm missing. Looks like I'll just 
mask that out over here and just to double check that there isn't any little pieces that are still covering our van or a person or something like that now that we have our aurora placed we can start to work on the colors and blending it into our image a little bit better so the first tool that i'm going to use is just my color balance tool i'm going to stick right in the midtones and just looking at our aurora versus the night sky the night sky is a little bit warmer so i'm going to just try to add a little bit of yellow in there and then also play add just a little bit of red just to make that transition a little less noticeable and to blend the colors of the sky and the northern lights together a little bit better. So if I just turn that on and off, you can see the slight but noticeable difference that that has made. Next, I wanna maybe lighten it up just a little, so I'm gonna grab my curves adjustment tool and I'm just going to drag up my highlights like this just to brighten up my Aurora a little bit more. Now that I'm happy with my Aurora specific adjustments, I'm just going to shift click all of those layers and I'm gonna press Command G to group those layers and I'm just gonna name this Aurora. So now I know that every layer that affects my Aurora will all be inside of this group. So one last thing to finish off this image, I'm just going to brighten it up a little by grabbing my curves adjustment layer, not clipped to anything so it's affecting both my Aurora and my van here. And I'm just going to bring up the midtones just like this and then maybe bring down the shadows a little. And if I turn that on and off, you can see the little, little bit of difference that lightening it up has made for us. So just like that, we've added in the Aurora into our image of our night sky without having to do any weird custom brushes, without having to meticulously mask out or cut out our Aurora. All we had to do was change our blending mode to screen and do a little bit of color adjustments and voila, we have an awesome and realistic looking Aurora in our night sky. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing to stay up to date with all of my weekly photo and editing tutorials. If you use this technique on any of your images, I'd love to see how they turned out. So if you upload them to Instagram, make sure to tag me at Burnwell so I can check them out, send some love your way, and things like that. Other than that, that's all I have for you for today. My name is Brendan from BeWellCreative.com, and I'll catch you next time for another new Photoshop tutorial. See you then. <laughs>